Now this is a cool tree. Uh, it's very whimsical. Uh, it has these deeply pendulous branches. This is the Angel Falls Weeping White Pine. Uh, we also affectionately refer to it as Cousin It uh, because of how it obviously looks. Uh, there's a little bit of a debate on how this, how big this tree is going to get. We think it's going to get somewhere between like seven to 12 feet. Um, but with these big, huge, like pendulous branches, it comes down very narrow. And so we don't think it's going to get very wide. Maybe uh, five to 10 feet. It's kind of hard to predict with some of these just because of how wonky they kind of grow. Um, where to use these? Now, these are an amazing focal point plant. Uh, you can have them uh, cascading over uh, water features, rock walls, um, anything like that, that it just, it, it can kind of show it off a little bit and kind of make it like a little bit more naturalized. Um, or you could put it in like a center courtyard and it will give you uh, interest all year long. It's, it's a very beautiful tree. Um, what this doesn't like are really compacted soils. Um, I've always struggled when I've tried to plant them out on the, like the west sides, like near the Great Salt Lake or uh, in a lot of the newer developments. But if you have really good soil structure and they're in more of a cultivated area, these things perform beautifully. Um, they are not super hip on cold weather. Uh, they do like to stay down in the valleys where it's a little bit warmer. You might be able to get away with them up in the benches. I have heard reports of them working up in various parts of like Park City and some of the warmer areas. But if you're looking to use these like in really alpine areas or really exposed areas uh, where they get like a lot of wind, they may struggle a little bit, but they are a beautiful tree. Uh, especially when you can use them like in rock gardens or, uh, you know, Zen gardens, Japanese gardens and stuff like that. Uh, these are gorgeous.